So this is Cruelty Squad. It's a tactical first person shooter set in the hardcore gig economy of corporate liquidation. So it's like a cyberpunk type setup. You're an emotionally dead combat substance fueled grunt of Cruelty Squad. A deprived subsidiary company tasked with performing wet works for its host conglomerate. Yo, so this is a game I thought would fit perfect with the CRT. For one, the style, but for two, there's actually Easter eggs in the game, depending on uh, what resolution you play in. If you bump down to 640 by 480, there's actually like hidden stuff in the game, which I think is super cool. So I'm not actually going to play in that right now because I don't really want to like spoil anything for you. You know, there's a lot of secrets. There's a ton of replayability in this game. Uh, I am going to be cranking this up to 1600 by 1200. I'm not really going to explain too much about what's going on. I mean, I got, you know, I got my R, my my G, my B all the way maxed out. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm cranking it. This is an early access. There's a ton of different stuff going on in this game. I'll probably just go ahead and run through the first level. Uh, actually, the first level might be kind of quick now that I know what I'm doing, but I'll go ahead and I'll show you uh, the game. So the game has, and this is absolutely not the start of me doing game reviews on the channel. By the way, if you were curious, I know on this, I had previously only really done the ViewSonic videos on games that are like, you know, uh, popular competitive type games or just things that I thought would fit really well. And this is a game that I think will fit really well, even though it isn't like super popular. So I don't think anyone's really gonna be searching for this, but I do think that it's a cool game. As you can see, it's got kind of like a uh, B-hop air strafe type thing. Uh, pay no attention to my double jump where I may or may not um, be pooping on the floor. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> This is a pretty typical loadout. You start out with this pistol on here, the shotgun you get later. Sorry, buddy, if you're looking for a shotgun right now. So, um, you're coming in here to shoot people, and uh, sometimes they get upset about that. So you really want to make sure that they don't hit you. I'm trying to not shoot any civilians, but he went ahead and did it for me anyway, so maybe I don't care. Now, cool thing about this game, if I want this gun, wow, I can get that gun. But if I want some health... I can eat him <laughs> if I want a liver. I actually don't know what, oh, that's a brain, excuse me. Excuse me, how rude. That was a brain, not a liver. Ooh, I'm camera shy. I'm playing so poorly now that I'm like actually showing me playing. So you can see that our health bar looks really weird and that's because it is. There's a fun thing that happens if you get your health down, which actually I will intentionally play very sloppily and haphazardly so that I may die here. I'll just let him. So we get a timer going. We're at negative health and you have a second to kind of get your stuff together before you explode, which is awesome. <laughs> Cause explosions, am I right? So let's go ahead and go back through this. See if we can do any better than that. Uh, sometimes you use a shotgun and it takes more than one hit. Ooh. Also, that noise means you gotta reload. Reloading's super weird. You hold down right click and you drag down and then back up and it reloads, which is kind of fun. Uh, you can hit R and eat people. And then one of my favorite things to do, which actually I'll probably go ahead and try to do it in a second, is I will actually, here, let's see if I can get him over here. You can kick and I completely missed. So not really the best moment to go for a kick, but it is a lot of fun kicking things, all right? Have you ever kicked someone in real life? No, you should. You, you really, you should try it out. That right there is a target. We're kind of a hitman. This is kind of like playing like old school hitman. It really, it's it's almost like old school, like Rainbow, C, uh, Rainbow Six. <laughs> I almost said Rainbow Siege, Rainbow Six Siege, old school. Oh, you mean uh, Rainbow Six. Now this, oh yeah, this is where you get the shotgun. Well, spoilers, I guess, not really. I mean, I, come on guys. It's the it's the first level, it's probably not that big of a deal. Oh, you can pick up the computer. I don't actually know if I knew that. So let's go in here, let's see if there's anybody. Oh, there is, 
There's someone in here. Okay, so let's just keep throwing the computer. He is so tough. I think I might die. Now, the good thing is, if you think you're going to die, don't, idiot, stop. No, you can uh, go buy food. <laughs> so, I'm I'm really hungry. Ah, you can kick it, too, if you, for some reason, want to throw all that food away that you just bought. So, uh, I got, I got money, whatever. I'll just keep eating all the snacks. Unfortunately, sometimes they run out. But there's plenty of people around to just munch on if you need that. Now, it is a uh, five to one ratio. You need to eat five people for the equivalent of uh, <laughs> of, of going through and eating a piece of pizza on the ground. Mm, this is my favorite. This I like using. So if we go over here, I mean, we're already killing some civilians, so whatever, we'll go for that. You can throw a toilet and it stinks. And anyone that runs in it is not gonna have a good time. You know, I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to kill some civilians. We'll, we'll try to actually complete the objective real quick. Ooh, look, a big window. I wonder, could there be some sort of secret back there? Ooh, who knows? Oh, look, another big window. Could you maybe get on the rooftop? That is crazy. Maybe one day you will check that out and there may be secret. Who, who knows, man? Who knows? It's broken. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Why is the vending machine broken? Actually, was unaware of that. I'm pretty sure that vending machine normally works. So maybe there's just a vending machine limit per map. I don't know that for a fact. But it sounds like it could be real. Now watch this. If you actually want to like try to play the game competently, you 100% can. And oh, that's not playing competently. All right, watch this. Oh, Rainbow Six, exactly. I'm so tactical right now. Watch out, you don't even know what's going on. Normally I don't do these with commentary, but I figured I'd like actually explain the game. So the target's eliminated, you can leave, you can stay here and look for some secrets. There's a bunch of different like crazy stuff going on. You can, you can strafe a little bit. If you want, oh, I'm kind of getting stuck on the stairs, but you totally could if you want. I will actually go ahead and explore some rooms. Just kind of show that this guy's not okay. Dude, you got you got to move. I'm sorry. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh, they have food. Thank you. Sorry they got stuck in the door. Ooh. It won't budge. Okay. Uh, some food in here. So this game has a lot of charm. I really like the style of it. Uh, if you aren't, like, you probably, if you don't like it, you probably already clicked off the video. So I don't feel like I need to uh, say too much about that. You would normally take fall damage from that, but I have a, uh, <laughs> a secret on my side. So I didn't take any fall damage. Let's go over here. What is in here? Oh, yeah. You, I can't get up there. I'm trying to think of what else I... Oh, God, this door. This is where I wanted to go. Oh, God! You know, I should have known that that was going to happen, but I didn't. Oh, also, um, the map is set up in a very old school manner. So, hey, what do you know? It loops back around. That's crazy. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, I like these dogs. It's cool because they're made out of mouths. <laughs> there's my there's my review of the game. There you go. That's actually I, I lied. I am going to make an official review. Dogs have a big mouth. Very cool. Ten out of ten. Here we are in the bathroom, which has my favorite thing, water. No, my favorite thing, toilet. Watch toilet. Okay, so I didn't get to show you it earlier. You probably saw it in the intro, but um, this thing's bad. You see that? That's death. Don't touch. Yeah, they uh, they don't clean these. All right. Yeah, you hear that? Is, is that someone shooting at me? Oh, oh God. No, it's not. Someone dying. And you know, with that, I feel like this is a pre. I, I really, I maybe I should show off something a little more actiony. Something a little more crazy. Not all the levels are like this. The next level is immediately just like insanely massive. This is set up in a very like 
kind of normal fashion like this is like a fps sort of level that i would expect you know you got all these corridors and these these corners you go around and you got all this this stuff but the next level is just like a big like uh it's a big like subdivision like it's huge and completely different and a lot of the levels are very different or have like a bunch of crazy stuff going on i need to reload um you can play with a ton of different weapons and loadouts i've never been over here i feel like i know where this is gonna take me it's gotta take me to like the conference room right yep that's what i figured okay so i'll go ahead and exit out and i will just very briefly show you how differently this game can be played as well so i will take um uh, i'll take this and then look a ton of different upgrades and stuff that you can get i will grab that and i will keep this so now all of a sudden my play style has changed dramatically allow me to show you so i go oh man that building i want to get up on that building oh you can just grapple yeah you can buy a grapple and then this what is this some sort of samurai sword no it's a fishing rod <laughs> a what yeah you heard me a fishing rod so what i can do i have to shoot out the window because i do not have the ability to kick right now i can go down here in my little fishing rod and yoink that's my gun now buddy uh yoink nope do not shoot so if you don't do a pacifist run i don't actually know if you can because you kind of have to like kill people or whatever um hello and then i got rid of my kick so that i can go stupid fast yeah so there's a lot of different um uh, dynamics to the game that you can do it's pretty cool yeah i think i pretty much just have like uh, a jetpack but i think that it's that i'm like i mean you can use your imagination i'm leaving streaks everywhere also i'm about to blow up and that's it that's all i'm gonna show you really cool game check it out steam early access again mostly just showing off that this game works super well for a crt not necessarily me trying to do some sort of review or something i'm just i'm just goofing showing off the crt goodbye